Sam Mulhall gets us underway here at the EVB. The ball's up in the air, it'll be a straightforward, headed winner for Wrexham. Jerome Window, so really pleased that we've got them. Ball down the right side, Oli Palmer's onto it, down by the byline, pulls it back. Mullin misses it, Elliot Lee's got it, shot comes in, it's blocked by Monoga. And blocked by the hand of Monoga, yeah. according to our referee Sam Mulhall. Mullin with a brilliant record from the penalty spot, yeah. other than perhaps that missed that second penalty against Sheffield United in the FA Cup. We're in the seventh minute, Paul Mullin. 31 goals in all competitions, steps up against Ashby Hammond. Oh, and Ashby Hammond got hands to it, but couldn't keep it out. The shot's looking to respond now with class, and he finds that man, Monoga, whose adrenaline will be pumping. He'll be disappointed he's given away the penalty. He'll be relieved he's still on the pitch. And he turns well, uh, plays the ball back to Class. Class into the feet of Penderby. Penderby involved round the corner. Amaluza might be able to swing in across here. He holds it up. He's one on one against Mendy. Can he make room for a ball? And he does find Class. Class with the ball inside. That's cut out by the ever hard working Paul Mullin. Here's Amaluza in possession inside the penalty area. He's got it out of his feet. Can he get it in now? He does. In it comes. Oh, it's a, a brilliant opportunity for Jake Hutchinson. He's going to put another ball into the area. This time Glover wins it in the air. It's hooked back in to the far post. Header down and on target from Clever. And this time Ashby Hammond, with no players in front of him, makes the save. 1-0 to the Dragons of Wrexham already. The goal came in the seventh minute from uh, top scorer Paul Mullin from the penalty spot after Haji Minoga had saved a goal-bound shot uh, with a part of his body you're not allowed to use. Here's Pendlebury sending Amaluza away down the right-hand side. He can go one-on-one -on -one against Mendy and then he looks to go past him but Elliot Lee working so hard for the cause, dropping back as a midfielder and a defender when needed, Stuart. Well, you know, all good teams press um, whatever level you're at, and this is what Wrexham are doing um, to a man. Um, yeah, there was two players on Amaluza that they must have obviously done their homework and know he's dangerous. I'll just let you go in as we're taking a long throw, I think, here, Rob. Yeah, Haji Minoga, guilty of giving away that penalty and getting an even earlier yellow card than he got on uh, Tuesday night, on loan from Portsmouth, with the long throw. In it comes, Partington takes it on his chest and then squares it. <laughs> the goal but the flags up for the ball going over the line <laughs> Elliot Lee pinging the ball into Palmer's feet so hard it's oh. ridiculous a backward header from class up towards Palmer he's in a good battle with Cordner Elliot Lee gets the knockdown he's advancing towards goal he's going to try and shoot no plays it out to the right hand side cross comes in and it's smashed home by who else but Paul Mullin Six yards out, you don't miss those. Here's Haji Monoga on the right-hand side, playing the ball down to Justin Amaluzu, who got what he wants, chance to go one-on-one -on -one against O'Connell, gets to the byline, squares it, and there's a shot square. Oh, there's a goal! Ollie Pendlebury with a goal back for the shots. A move simple in the making. There's a good win by Partington, plays the ball inside, but Luke Young reads really well, intercepts it, finds James Jones, he's foraging forward, tries the ball into the penalty area, into Mullen inside the area, oh it's an outrageous twisting and turning back heel goal for Paul Mullen.
What a first half we've had here at the EPP. We are underway for the second half. Will we be in for a second half as thrilling as the first? Hutchinson might get on to his own rebound here. Tries a little shot, handball is that, nothing given. Pendlebury can't get the shot away, finds Glover. Glover tries a shot left-footed and it's on target and saved by Mark Howard. Amalouz has won it and here's Pendlebury. Jinx inside and then goes down. Was it a foul or was he tripped? Referee's having none of it. Oh, here's Amalouz taking the ball down nicely, turning, running straight up the penalty area, tries or back onto his right foot, onto his left, one way then the other. Will he get a shot away? He does. Oh, it's just over the bar. He got the dipping on it as well. But here's the corner. In it comes, headed down and cleared off the line right in front of the goalkeeper. Pendlebury back to Partington. Oh, not the best touch from Partington. Recovers well. Pokes the ball back to Froster, who gives the ball back to his skipper. Partington, little ball down the channel for Justin Amaluza. Returns, faces man into the edge of the penalty area. Is he can he get his cross in to the far post? Past everybody. Can Corden keep it in? No, it's cleared away. I think it might have been Clever that uh, cleared it away. And Aldershot are going to come again, and it's Aldershot knocking on Wrexham's door. Partington square to Ryan Glover, who's on this left side now, into Justin Amaluza, who's having a great game and a great season. Turns, gets away from his man and wins the free kick. He says to referee, I was, I was through, but I think the ref's done all the shot yeah. him a favour there by blowing. Ollie Harfield's going to send it in to the penalty area. Oh. Header over the bar from Corey Jordan up from the back. And that's got to be offside, Paul Mullin. I'm sure he's offside, but he's going through. And it's a one-footed, outstretched save from Ashby Hammond. And here's Elliot Lee around the edge of the box, tries a shot, spills it, and Harfield will clear it away. And credit to Ollie Harfield. Now here comes Glover. He's going to take on James Jones here on the left side. He's going to slot it to Harfield. Harfield's going to get across it. Oh, oh it's missed by Zip. It's an own goal. Own goal. An own goal from Wrexham by Tunnicliffe has run-footed Howard in goal. Stands Luke Young with the corner, dying seconds, in it comes, headed towards goal, and in, and Wrexham have done it in the closing moments. We've had a seventh goal here at the EBB, and it's a dagger from the Dragons into the heart of Aldershot Town. Right at the end of the game, there's the final score. The Wrexham supporters are jubilant. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.